Ed East and welcome to Guitar Beasts. This is a bit of a special episode. I had planned to do a bit more about my collection of vintage guitars and some um, comparisons of, of old squires and new fenders and delve a little bit into the history of, of 60s German beat era guitars, Framas, Hofner, that kind of thing, etc. Um, and then I happened to stumble across an advert online for a limited run of um, very cheap, um, obviously entry level, Epiphone um, TV Yellow P90 Les Paul style. It's a Les Paul special, which means it's the very basic version. It doesn't even come with a pick guard. Um, but if you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen perhaps the uh, the TV Yellow um, DC Junior, which came from Harley Benton, which I purchased and was very happy with. Um, and you'll know that I have a bit of a penchant for TV Yellow coloured guitars. So anyway, I clicked and uh, today um, it arrived and let's see what's in the box. I'm going to try not to take too long over the actual unboxing side of this. since. We obviously, we all know how to open a box. Just in case you were thinking about throwing away your new guitar, you get a do not discard notice. That's uh, lucky that they said that. So, particularly interested in how a guitar is packaged, um, the packaging was good. It was, um, the important delicate switch was nicely uh, protected and it's nice to see that they have detuned all the strings um, for long distance shipping which is actually quite an important uh, issue for long distance shipping. If the strings are too tight uh, and then you have fluctuations in the temperature when it's sitting on a ship in the middle of the Pacific or whatever, um, then uh, it can cause damage to the neck. Um, so I'm just going to quickly tune it all up. I'm just going to quickly give the strings a bit of a stretch, they're new strings and if you tune up a set of new strings and then play around a bit they will quickly go out of tune because they're stretching and they're kind of finding their own sort of tension. One way you can get over that quickly is to stretch each string in three places near the neck, uh, sorry near the bridge, in the middle and near the nut. Just give it a little bit of a pull, obviously not too hard, um, and it just takes some of that initial release out of the strings. Obviously you need to then tune it up again. So there I've also been able to get a first impression of the guitar. And um, it feels nice. Um, the tuning worked very simp very well. The, the tuning pegs are, are pretty good. Um, whether they hold the tuning well 
remains to be seen. Um, the neck has a nice satin finish. I'm not a particular fan of satin finishes on necks, but for some reason this one is not bothering me. Um, the neck feels very similar to the neck that I have on um, another bottom of the range Epiphone guitar that I recently bought, the um, uh, the SL I think it is, which uh, there's another video on my channel of that. Um, and the body is again a satin finish, it's not it's a bit of a stretch of the imagination to call it TV yellow in what my image of TV yellow should be, um, but it's certainly a nice, a nice warm mustardy yellow, and it's a lot more subtle than the sunset yellow, which is on um, on the other Epiphone that I have, uh, which is quite in your face. Obviously, um, very simple electronics. I'm presuming we have one volume and one tone and a selection switch between neck pickup, um, bridge pickup and both. And we have two P90s which again we're about to find out what they sound like. And so let's let's plug it in. We're going through my Fender DeVille and uh, let's see what it sounds like. P90s. I adore P90 pickups. Uh, they're just incredibly rock and roll. So let's see the. pickup, uh, quite biting, quite uh, quite jangly, quite nice, bit 60s, both pickups together. Just check this, this is... So yeah, the volume control controls both pickups and then obviously... Fairly serviceable tone control as well. Very nice. So I'm going to try it out with a little bit of a dirt pedal that's a favourite of mine. Bit of overdrive.
around the edges, but uh, does the job. guitar it's um, very much in the starter range and with this kind of a guitar yeah sure you can have a lot of fun um, as a beginner or whoever you know um, uh, it's got some nice features very simple straightforward you don't need to mess around um, doesn't need to have bells and whistles to, to rock um, I am very pleased with this purchase and yes can highly recommend it Okay, thanks for watching.